All that's left is to find the jammer and shut it down.
As Pete would say, that's a bingo. Wow. It's a Magia trophy room. Poker chips. Definitely the old crime family style. Found the jammer. Guess I can head out. Thought you could hide, huh? Hey, uh, the way out's blocked. Should I call someone, like, like backup? I'll figure it out. That old elevator could be my ticket out of here. Just need some juice. Okay, not a word that's in the elevator. I'm good. Their cunning trap has failed. Hey, consider the jammer jammed. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna give the police an anonymous tip, and boom! No more hideouts. Appreciate the help. Did you get what you needed? Yep. I'm gonna dig some more into this turf war between the underground and the magia. Smells like a story. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm looking forward to hearing the podcast. <laughs> Underground Exposed. Spider-Man recently took down an underground hideout in Greenwich, and we found evidence that the underground went to war against the Magia. Yes, that Magia. The old school crime family. Back then, there was no tinkerer, and the underground considered themselves a new class of criminal. The young mafia, if you will. They wanted respect, so they went after the crime families. The conflict sputtered out when Hammerhead staged the full-on takeover of the Magia, which indirectly saved the underground. Thanks for that, Hammerhead, you jerk. Till next time, if you're trying to change your habits, limit yourself to one change per month so you can stick to it. Goodbye. Use this for sure.
Capsule used to be a dump, but I'm glad they cleaned it up a little. Good news, friends. My sources say underground activity has subsided significantly. The Tinker is officially presumed dead. We survived the storm of the century, and our wounds are healed. But New Yorkers must remain ever vigilant. This is the greatest city. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. too far away. I was on the train board and Spider-Man was in my car. No way. The Spider-Man? Not one of the dudes from Times Square? It had to be him. Their suit was way too nice for a costume. I mean, it's technically a costume for Spider-Man, too. Oh, yeah? Did you say that to Spider-Man's face? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Wing chimes. That sounds good. <laughs> this plaza is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school. Didn't have the gear or the mask. God paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up. Take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. Wish I kept my word. I deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and dad would have stayed close. And you and I would be okay too. Tech parts. Come on. Another crime report. Weapon steal. Single. Hey, remember those time capsules I told you Finn and I hid? 
found him. And, whew, talk about a head trip. Yeah, I bet that'd be intense now. I wanted to bury them in Prospect Park, but it was her idea to put them around the city. She always tried to push me out of my comfort zone. What do you think she would have said to you now that you found them? Good job, but I would have found them faster. I like her taking the opportunity to dunk on you. <laughs> That's how she'd want it. That is one shady-looking weapons deal. Harder and harder for an honest criminal to make a fight. He saw us! Then take him out! I know Spidey taught me equipped for this. Stop, criminal! Finishing this now! Got something for ya! What? this for evidence. Hope they don't mind webs. Middle school graduation was bittersweet. Ben went to Midtown High, but I got into Brooklyn Visions. Said we stay in touch, but man, high school's like a whole new world. Man, we flew down the street after we tricked out these skates with compressed air boosters. Neighbors started calling us the little geniuses after that. All that attention felt kind of weird. And kind of cool. Oh, football league. I mentioned to Finn one time I was into soccer, and she went all impossible mission to steal this from an exhibition match for me. She'd do anything for her friends. One summer, we got way into space travel and started freeze drying our favorite foods. Bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Total fail. Red bean ice cream was not bad, though. Got to tour Oscorp in eighth grade. Finn was way skeptical. Said that they were going to destroy New York one day. Devil's breath almost proved her right. Concert tickets. Finn convinced me to go with her. I went ready to hate it and wound up buying three CDs and a t-shirt. Dazzler and Lila Cheney for life. Finn was always checking out books before she finished her last one. She even grabbed mine when I wasn't looking. Said it kept her brain sharp. Parts from the first PC we built. I used it for gaming. Finn used it to help an ESU Alzheimer's research team. Both good uses, I'd say. Finn loved these scratch art pads. Said it reminded her that no matter what something looked like on the surface, there was always more going on underneath. upgraded her swim goggles with sonar and a heads-up display. 
she never could stand losing to anyone, especially me. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of, and invented our own imaginary elements to explain it. Finn's names always sounded the best. We always wonder what stuff like Thor's hammer was made of. Mom made this piquet hot sauce for Finn's birthday. Abuela's recipe, I think. Finn put it on everything. Always said, if it doesn't hurt, you're not doing it right. Got this on a field trip to a Wakandan Design Group Expo. Finn saw all the tech on display and shouted, I want to be an engineer. <laughs> Guess it's stuck. We gave copies of our keys to each other so we could hang out more. Ended up just hiding messages in each other's rooms. After seeing it in the Olympics, Finn got crazy good at table tennis in like a week. Her spin game was unreal. Could put the ball wherever she wanted. Girl is agile as heck. After we won that science enterprise, Finn got way into space exploration. Dreamed up this moon transport. She wanted to reinvent the whole world. something today. Ooh, that's not an after school special, <laughs> but I'm going to soldier on. Okay, <clears throat> here it is. You listen to this podcast because I'm not. You're not looking for someone more buttoned up, professional, older, with like 18 million credentials. You want to hear from and talk to me about what's happening in our city. So I won't be changing how I do things. No trying to class up the pod, no ads, no blazers. It's just me and you. And you know what? I think that's fine. Thanks, friends. And until next time, don't become someone's reply guy on social media, okay? It's super annoying. Bye!